Hello everyone and happy first day of fall. It is Natalie here and you better believe that the fall videos are starting now. I am so excited. I do know that it is currently 89 degrees outside, but that's not stopping me from doing this whole fall look, celebrating fall, being so excited for Halloween, and honestly, probably gonna get a pumpkin spice latte today because that sounds amazing. Anyways, this video is super exciting, not only because it is the first day of fall, but because I decided to do a collab with one of my very good friends here on YouTube, Kyla, and we actually have collabed together last year, and it has been way too long since we've done another video together, so please Please go show her some love and follow her channel. Check out her fall video today. It is a fall get ready with me and it is so, so cute. She's seriously like adorable. Her videos are amazing. Her quality is amazing. And if you came from her channel, please be sure to comment down below and let me know because I would love to know how you guys found this video. Anyways, today I am just showing you guys how to create this smoky eye fall inspired. So it's a little orange, a little burnt orange, you know. If you guys are new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up because that helps me know what type of videos you guys like, what type of videos you don't like, and comment down below the other fall videos that you guys want. Without further ado, let us get started into the video. So we are just going to start off with priming our face. I used a Radiance Primer. This is from Laura Mercier. Since it's the fall and the weather is going to get colder, I like using a little bit more um, highlight and shimmer because my face is more dry. And next I go in with my favorite MAC strobe cream. This is just to give a highlight from underneath your foundation. It makes you just look like you're naturally glowing and not like you have shimmer on your face like normal highlighter does. And I put this on all of the high points of my face and it just looks really, really nice over or underneath your foundation. I know it looks super greasy on your face, but don't worry because the Fenty foundation that I am using is full coverage and it's pretty matte, so that's why I like having some shimmer underneath, and I love this foundation. I rub it in with a brush that I got from Sephora, and I bring it down my chin because it is a little darker than my skin tone, but I like that better than being lighter, and then I go in with my concealer stick from Sephora, it's the Make No Mistake one, and I put that underneath my under eyes and on the high points of my face. Again, during the fall, I know it's not all about like shimmer and radiance as it is for the summer, but because my face is dry, I just like making my face a little more brighter, so that's why I apply more concealer and highlight and all of that stuff, and I rub it in with my finger at first because your finger is gonna warm it up, and because this is a foundation stick, it is a little thicker, so that's why I like to make sure it's a little bit more blendable, and then I go in with the same brush that I used for the foundation and I blend it out with that. Next, I am going to set my face with a powder. So I am putting it on with a brush and just putting it on wherever I put the foundation stick. So I don't put it all over my face, but just to make sure that those don't budge or crease under my under eyes. And then I go in with the Fenty contour stick and I contour and I put that in the hollows of my cheekbones and then again on my temples and I'm going to be blending it out with the same brush, you could use a beauty blender, but I'm in one of those stages where I'm kind of bored of the beauty blender, so I'm trying out different brushes. I don't know, let me know if any of you guys get into that stage. And if you ever see me looking away to that side like I just did, it's because I'm playing One Tree Hill and on my computer, and so I was kind of trying to watch that as I was filming this makeup tutorial. I'm trying to watch it before it goes off Netflix because it's going off in two weeks, and I'm currently on season five. So yeah, petition to not remove One Tree Hill off Netflix would be nice. Nice. Next I apply my highlighter. This is from Laura Mercier and it actually broke so that's why it looks like a mess. But I am applying a gold one because I feel like for fall I like using more gold tones and warmer tones so that is why I'm doing that. I apply it on my cheekbones and I love the nose highlight so I apply that and on my chin and my cupid's bow. And just everywhere that I applied the Shobe Cream. I love this highlighter because it's very, very subtle. I'm not a huge, huge like BAM highlighter fan. Then I go in with my brows and I use the Precisely My Brow. I've been using this for a while. I absolutely love it. And I am just going to go along with my natural shape and make sure that my brows look very nice and defined. Thank you. 
Now I'm going in with my Morphe brush or Morphe palette and I'm applying a light brown with orange undertones and I'm applying that with a blending brush onto my crease. This is going to serve as a base for my shadow because I am using a lot of orange shadows. Next I'm going in with a deeper orange and again with my blending brush blending that out. I like to have that with my blending brush because I kind of want to have that as my base as well because this is more of an orange smoky eye. Then I'm going in with the maroon-ish color and applying that with a crease brush and I'm directly applying that to my crease and I'm focusing on the outer portion of it just to make sure that it's not all over because it is such a dark color and I'm bringing it down with the same brush underneath my eyes and next I'm applying this super super shimmery golden orange color this is so pigmented you guys the Morphe palettes are great on color and pigment and I am applying that all over my lid so I'm just applying it with a lid brush all over and it's definitely gonna give me that nice shimmery look that I am going for and be sure to be careful with it because you don't want any to go underneath like on under your eyes or anything like that because there might be some fallout from the glitter but I loved the way that this looked then I'm going back in with the more maroon color and just reapplying it into my crease to make sure it's more blended and that none of it got covered from the shimmer color and again applying that underneath my eyes I like bringing the color under my eyes because I think it gives it a more uniform look and then I'm going in with a super pigmented gold color and I'm applying that over the shimmer because I felt like it was too orange I wanted to break up the color a bit by introducing a gold so I'm applying that on my lid not covering it up completely but mainly on the middle part and then I'm just applying liquid eyeliner this is my Kat Von D liquid eyeliner it's my favorite and doing a winged look onto my eyes I like the black contrast with it because before I applied the eyeliner it made me look kind of like I had pink eye or something like that so <laughs> make sure that you have eyeliner on and then I'm just applying a pencil stick underneath my eyes to again define it a little more and I think it looks so much better and now I am curling my lashes and I'm just going to apply my favorite mascara and lately my eyes have been watering like crazy so I haven't actually been wearing mascara so let me know if you guys have an issue with your eyes like constantly watering and what you did to fix it then after that I am just going in with my lips and I am applying a lip liner I'm filling it in all over and then I'm actually just filling it in kind of in the middle of my lips so all around and then just in the middle and then I'm applying a liquid lipstick on top the color I like is because it's a little more dark and neutral, I guess, so I feel like it matches with the eyes. I don't want to say it's orange, but it is a little warmer toned, and that's kind of the look I was going for for this whole makeup tutorial. And then after that, I am applying actually the gold highlighter that I use onto my lips to make them pop a little more because they looked a little bit dull, I realized, just so I'm making sure to apply it in the cupid's bow and just on the center of them, and it's going to make them look bigger and just more like bam you know <laughs> and then I am done with the whole makeup tutorial so I hope that you guys liked it I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and please be sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and be sure to check out Kyla's video so thank you so much for watching mine go show Kyla some love she's amazing and like the cutest person ever and if you guys came from her channel of course don't forget to let me know I will see you guys next week and have a happy fall bye guys <laughs>